For the Make Code Minute today, I wanted to build a little button echo box. So what I have here is a little plate of LED diffusion plastic over the LEDs on the Circuit Playground Express. And if I press left or right, I'm pressing the A or B button. Now, when I press a combination of those buttons four times, it'll play them back for me. Watch. Left, right, left, right. And it plays left, right, left, right. Inside of Make Code, what you'll see is I have a couple of button events. And when I press either button, it calls a function called add button press with an argument of either zero or one. Now, looking at that function, uh, what you'll notice is that it's calling a if the length of the array named button list is not equal to four, then we'll do what's inside there. At the start of this sketch, what happens is I create a button list and it's an empty array. So right now that length is essentially zero. When I press a button, since it doesn't equal four yet, it's gonna either call a zero or a one, depending on which button I've pressed, and then add a value to that array. And I've decided to pick the values of two and seven since those correspond to LED two and LED seven on the Circuit Playground Express. Now, throughout the loop of the program, if that length does end up equaling four, it's gonna run this little loop here, which indexes from zero to three, so four times. It will light up the LED corresponding to the button that I've pressed in a color that's appropriate for a little list array that I've created. When we have played back those four button presses, it then blanks the array again, and we're ready to start all over again. So here you can see, that is how you can create a little button box inside of Make Code for the Circuit Playground Express. And that is your Make Code Minute.